So this week is Mental Health Awareness Week, which is amazing that it's finally getting the airtime that it deserves. It's kind of making me think about what we all have a mental health. And it said that a battle is won or lost in the mind. And your mind is like a program and will be affected by what you spend time looking at listening to and then focusing on that kind of got me thinking about how our mind has the ability to capture and be caught up in something that we have either seen and then it begins to play it over and become a part of who we are but my real interest is in focusing on something not yet seen but hoped for and capturing that image and that's where the challenge comes because these days people are so easily influenced by by what is around them what they think people are thinking of them what they're saying to their self about their self but you know when you take time to be still and ask yourself what is it that I desire in life who am I what kind of friend am I what skills and abilities do I have to offer or what are my passions where I can go and, and educate myself in a lot in and around those things and Did you know that you are powerful? You're powerful, powerful beyond anything actually that you can imagine. Don't give, I encourage you, do not give your power over to what you think other people are thinking of you. And when we're talking about capturing a vision or being captured, you can be captured by what's going on in other people's lives, but that is distracting you from the reality of your life. And actually that's just an image, a screenshot. It's not necessarily the truth. But the truth is you have to walk in your truth. Who are you? What is your purpose? Why are you created? What added value can you bring to planet Earth? And I think that when you spend time aligning your focus on that, actually that will improve your mental health because you are giving yourself self-care. You're caring for who you really are, tuning into your higher self which is a spiritual being. I mean, we live in a materialistic world, but material stuff don't make you any happier. I mean, look at people that are multimillionaires and they have all the stuff that money can buy, but yet there's always more stuff. (laughs) There's always going to be more stuff. There's always um, people out there that are willing to take their money and be be the next step ahead. But they've taken time to capture what their audience might like and then create something but you know what you have that same ability to be able to create a life that serves you but also serves your community and in doing that that's where true satisfaction comes from i believe serving others knowing that you have something to offer and i think these days we've lost that sense of community and our connection with our community and it's very competitive and materialistic and look at me I'm wearing Gucci for example I'm not but I'm wearing Gucci but where is your identity because if it's in wearing someone else's name then you've lost your identity unless you're wanting people's approval of you to be that you look like you have money because you're wearing designer clothes but the truth is Gucci's got your money and actually your true identity if you strip you down is not in what you're wearing but it's in your characteristics what characteristics are you wearing and sharing with others I think the ego has a lot to answer for a lot to answer for because ego is edging good out or edging God out and that is outward looking caring what people think about you and trying to portray something of you so that people look up to you but actually I think the focus should be on being pretty kind pretty caring pretty smart pretty vulnerable all those are really beautiful traits not pretty on the outside but that that beauty will soon fade uh it's fleeting so I just wanted to pop on and just chatter away about vision what you're focusing on what you're saying to yourself about yourself what are you what clothing are you wearing in terms of are you dressing up to hide or are you dressing up to show up to be bring added value to people that come in contact with you 
because what goes around comes around and if you if your heart is to give not to get then all your needs will be met so it's surrendering over to your higher self and saying do you know what why am i here what's my purpose and seek find that because i believe that if you ask it will be given and if you seek you'll find <laughs>